Hello, and welcome back to Grinds My Gears. So, I have ripped up the old red and green potion area. Um, right, and we can pull up some of this pipe now. Let's go. Great. Okay, so we now have a bit more space in the making area. We will probably make some things soon. Um, I will be ripping up the this mini green circuit build because we've now got a line of green circuits coming in. Right, so we have our gears build. This takes in four yellow belts of plates and puts out one yellow belt of gears. We have a green circuit build. This takes in two belts of iron, five belts of copper, produces one belt of, gear, of circuits. Then I went a bit mad. Okay, so because I've never played this through before, I don't really know the ratios. So what I thought I'd do is build a two ratio red potion build. So this here is 18 assemblers making red potions. It produces one belt of red potions, one full yellow belt of red potions, consumes two belts of copper and one of gears. Okay. Yes, that is insane. So that, I think, I worked it out, that's 400 a minute. So that's just under half a megabase. Yeah. Um, right, this here is a two ratio self-contained green build. And this produces half a belt of green potions. This whole thing produces half a belt of green potions. It consumes 1.7 belts of green chips, just over half a belt of gears, just over two belts of iron plates. Uh, that's on top of the full build of red potions you need. And this is actually down, this is nine machines, this is 10 machines. Okay, so this is clearly completely overkill. Um, so I think what I need to do is pick something more sensible. Okay, this seems to want to ratio out to nine. So I think if I build it to three, and then I can always extend it. So we're gonna start by ripping up part of this build. Okay, which my bots are gonna love me for. We can always grow it again later. Um, now, this build here currently is putting onto the same belt, but we really don't need all these red potion machines right here. So what I'm gonna do is pull up the whole of this. The whole of this? Yeah, I'm gonna pull up the whole of this and we're gonna rebuild it better. Okay, so at some point we may want a full mega base build. So I'm gonna leave this space here um no i'm not because we can always rebuild later all right so let's just pull this um and what we're going to do is we've got three red potions then we're going to actually i want this belt yeah because i want to put these in as a half belt onto the main bus. So, um, so then what we're going to do is we're going to work out how many green machines we need to match the red machine production. And we're going to build that. So I think it's probably going to be six, but we will work it out. I'm sorry it's dark. I don't have the um, equipment yet to be able to see in the dark. I also don't have very much inventory. So what can we dump where? Let's put things in a box for now. Okay, 
the ore I can sort out later, so I'm happy to put that in a box. Okay, get rid of this. Okay, so this is going to be a, a line of reds. And I want to definitely make sure that it only goes on one side of the belt. And I know it should because we're side loading, but I, I really want to make sure because we're going to be loading greens on. Okay, now. Maybe I, hmm, maybe if I literally dump it onto the side of the belt, that might be a better way. Okay. Okay, so if this went up like that, that would literally side load onto the belt. Okay, and we need to do full extension belt jumps because every single plate counts in this playthrough. Okay, that's cool. So, um,. There we are. And I'll need to do some belt cleaning in a minute. Okay, so the green bottles are one to one with the green um, fluid. The green fluid, three of these machines, can power 10 of these, which is a weird ratio. If we do three to nine, we've got three here. Um, right, the, the red ones craft every one second, the green ones every two seconds. So if I've got... Um, three reds, I need six greens. Okay, so let's do this bit by bit. I want... Okay, and I think I want, for the sake of adding up, So I want six green machines. That is that goes with three red machines. No. Let's let's do it with items per second. Um Oh, come on. Am I doing something wrong here? Okay. Okay. I'm not getting the, the hang of this at all. One of these produces 10 units in 10 seconds. One of these consumes 10 units in...
in two seconds. This takes in 100 red produces 50, so that's a in five seconds. Ah, oh, grief. My brain's not working. All right. I got all this ratioed out, and now, of course, I can't do the simple thing. Right, let's build it and ratio it as we go. Okay, so we are going to have... Let's leave two machines as a gap. Okay, so this is going to make red. And for that, we need a line of copper and a line of gears. All right. That's good. Then this is going to output into a red fluid maker. And the red fluid maker needs to consume a, a, a pickaxe. Okay. And the pickaxe needs the. Ah, oh, this is all a bit low then. So. Let's do the pickaxe making. So we need an iron bar. Iron axe. There we are. Yep, I don't know why that has a. Um... Oh, okay. So that takes in. At this side takes in iron. This takes in iron. We direct insert there. Okay, we can do the whole of this with a power pole. Then this can output either side actually. Let's do that side. Okay, this is our pickaxe type thing. Okay, then. This is red unbottling. And this is also going to need red potions. Red potions needs gears and copper. I'll move that up one, then it's covered by the existing power pole. Okay. Don't want to be too frugal with power poles, belts cost more. Okay, so that's going to unbottle. Now that we've unbottled the red, we can put it into a that's it okay and we've got a bit of space here um, okay so this is going to be green so we take in purified water from the bus. Yeah, which I'm not going to join up. Um, and we take in red fluid.
So I can move this closer if I want to. Um, but this needs iron in. Um, actually, I can bring the iron in this side, can't I? Yeah, I can. Okay. So if I move that down one, take that off, the iron can come in there. Then I can lose all this. So then, I'm just wondering how many green machines we will fit in here. Well, it's going to be up to three, isn't it? Because at three, we totally lose. We totally lose capacity after three. Okay. So if it's three. That's how much space it would take in total. Um, there we go. That's too close. Happy coincidence. So this is the green. Yeah. Okay. So if we then we'll need a power pole somewhere around here to power this up. And then we need an output for the green potions. And I I'm two minds about whether to push it up onto the bus. I don't have a fluid bus, but maybe I should have. We've only got the purified water so far. Perhaps I should be adding in another four lanes here for fluids. That might be, yeah, I might just dump this into a brand new fluid bus. Okay. So this would make us green. This is obviously nowhere near ratioed. All right, so if I grab that, that is producing 2.25 red potions a second. Okay. Once we have green, then the next process is to bottle it. So let's put this out the way a bit. Okay. So I'm low on Okay, so this produces 0.375 items per second of green. This produces 2.25, 2 0.27. Let's try six. Two point two five. Awesome. So that's the match build to this. Now, this to that. We are low on fluid, so we need a second fluids machine. Now we're good on fluid. We have an excess of machine, and this. Is going to need more red. And I 
think we're going to need three. But I'm not totally sure. No, let's go with six. Okay, that looks about right. So we're, we're over making on this. Right, so let's... Let's get a pair of these set up. There we are. And then um, we're being cheap on pipe. So I think we can blueprint copies of that down. Oh, we haven't got a recipe set. Try again. I am really looking forward to copy paste. And pick up my junk box. Okay. I can get rid of some copper now, can't I? And I can get rid of some gears. Good. Okay, and then we can grab something like that okay it's not the neatest build in history it'll do so I want gears on the outside belt I want Copper on the inside belt, so let's move this all over by a tile. I should really rename this whole playthrough. Let's move it left by a tile. Okay, then the the um, thing here needs some iron. Do we have a belt of iron? Would you believe it? We don't. Okay. Um, okay, so if we're putting in a fluid bus, then I can put in a... another. So I can take one of these lanes and turn it into iron. I'm going to need a copper belt at some point. Okay, do I rip this whole thing up and move it down? For now, let's get this iron down. Right, I'm going to lane balance it because this is going to be pulled off by multiple processes. So my my rule for lane balancing is don't bother if it's going into a site which is just going to consume it all. However, if it's going on a bus where it's going to be processed by multiple things, then it needs lane balancing. Um, right, so that comes across. This is going to be our new four lanes. We'll pull that off. All right. Actually, cut this. Take this off. Right, 
this is going to go here. And we will move the the purified water out once there's room. Before then we use undergrounds. Okay. So I want to bring iron in here. Okay, so we have red fluid. Ah, these can't be so close together. Is there room for a third one now? No, there isn't, but I'm not building for a third one. out of pipes I think I am there we go okay for this to work it also needs blue assemblers And it would be nice to do the blue assemblers in the same column, really, because we're a bit we're a bit growing beyond the shadow of our smelters. I can move the whole of this that way a lot, which would then let me move all of this along a lot. Mm. Oh, we've got some cross-contamination. From there. Okay. So. Let's pull this up, because it's not working very well. I know I've got bots. Um, how else could we do this? Okay, so if we had a... We're going to need some kind of belt here. To make the assemblies we need a line of... We need gears, plates, and... Um, Gears, plates, and circuits. So that's going to be two belts. Okay. So this will be standards. This will be fasts. Direct insert. Pull off, pull off. This needs plates and circuits. This needs plate circuits gears. We will put gears on the outside. Just double check this doesn't need gears. Yeah, it doesn't need gears. Okay. Now, I don't know if we need a second build of this. We probably do. We probably need one build of this per um, per chemical factory. So. Um, Check, is that correct? Yep, 
Yeah, that's about right. Um, so it's a slight excess of blue, blue inserters. I'm wondering if there's a better way to arrange this then. Because I really don't want to be pushing this red fluid out onto the bus, onto a fluid bus. But perhaps that's what I should be doing. Rather than trying to make a, a close build. All right, let's bite the bullet and start our fluid bus. I promise we will get something built today. Okay. So that is a contaminated pipe, apparently. Okay, so there we are. We have purified water and red fluid on the fluid bus. Then we're going to have green and possibly something else. Okay. So we need six bottling machines. Just remember that it is six. We'll work out back from that. Okay, so. We can then leave a bit of a gap. Then we can make our, um, so remember, we have one, two, three, four fluid, then two gaps. then we can start building. So we will have wondering if I should do this wide. Okay, if this is the far, the slows, sorry, then this could use a long-handed inserter to put into the fast. I think that would be quick enough. This produces every half second. Yeah, that should be fine. Right, we can bring in... No, this is all a bit too much spaghetti. This one, this is the only one that needs gears, so I can bring the gears there. This could be a split line of circuits. No, this needs to pull off that belt as well. Okay, the arrangement we had first time around was better. And I'm gonna move this down another couple of squares. Okay, so I preferred this. Okay, and we're going to, rather than direct inserting, because I'm not sure how many machines we're gonna have at the end of the day. Um, Right, where am I? There we are. Then I'm pretty sure we need a, a second one of these.
that's it. Okay. So the outside one we decided with gears. Am I out of undergrounds? All right, let's see if I can craft any. Okay. That's four. There we are. And then this is going to be mixed plate and circuits. Okay, let's skip this unfortunate mess. We want to bring plates and circuits in here. That means that if we do this one tile further on, because hmm, what I want to do is that. Straightforward for green circuits, but so straightforward for green circuit. We'll figure out the plates. Okay, that would work. Yep, that's good. Okay, so then this is enough blue inserters. I'm going to run this belt the other way. I may want to extend this out to more than three, more than two. Okay, so then if we had one of these guys, and this is going to be green fluid. All right, it's wet, red and more purified water. So I would have. Power pole in the middle, I think. The problem with that is it doesn't actually reach anything useful. Right, if we did that, then I can do a long inserter. I can, covered by the same pole. All right. So this is purified water. Uh, this is red. I want. So I want to do these the opposite way around. Um, so I want to bring that out there. Go on 
Uh, the problem is I get the same thing here. How do I br bring out the purified water? Mm. This is a pain. It'd be nice to have different colored pipes, wouldn't it? Okay, so... That doesn't quite reach, which is frustrating. But not really the end of the world. That does exactly reach. Okay, so let's do the purified water and then we'll figure out the reds, red fluid in a moment. So I want to have basically So we need to continue on the red. That's the issue. Ooh, that's it. Okay, so I can expand this out to three. I can expand this out to three or four. Then let's... put this onto the fluid bus. I have never done a fluid bus before. This is bat shittery as far as I'm concerned. Let's just put in the downstream one so that we've got it marked. And for those of you who are a bit OCD about this, I really don't care about where the pipes are placed. Um, in fact, I'd quite like them to be staggered because there's a better chance of not having a catastrophic pile up. Okay, this all appears to be doing something. So then our next process is next process is bottling up green. Okay. Okay, and that's fairly straightforward, I think. So we bring in green, we bring in empty bottles, and we put out full bottles. So we need a couple of belts. Um, I'm going to do it both on this side. Every two seconds, so I can use slow inserters with no problem. Yeah. Okay, so I need to continue the bus.
Okay. Bottles. Let's grab a split. And there we are. I think this is a good place to leave it. I will see if I can complete this build um, next time and we will add in military or high tech. All right. Thanks very much.